What's up, people? I'm here in Alalabad train station. Here's my train right here. I just had a good uh, 36 hours in Alalabad. It was fun. Check that last video if you didn't see it already. Right now, I'm headed up to Haridwar. I got first class AC uh, sleeper cart, and I'm looking for the AC. And here we go. AC first come, AC two tier. It's a 16 hour trip to, no, 14 hour trip to Haridwar. So, here's my cabin, cabin A. So I'll be sleeping here tonight. I'm all set up, feeling good, nice and cozy. It's almost bedtime. I'm actually excited for this trip. <laughs> it's nice. Just got out the cab. I just checked the first hotel <laughs> that I came across in the area that I want to be. It's good enough for now. Looks like it's got a balcony out here. Oh yeah, that's nice. I gotta go to sleep. I don't feel sick sick, but I just feel drained. At least I'm still gorgeous though. back and I'm feeling good that sucked I was in that last hotel for two days sick slash recuperating if you haven't watched the last video that I posted watch it and you'll see exactly what got me sick moral of the story if it doesn't feel right and you think you shouldn't eat it don't eat it even if people are buying it for you you got to put your foot down because if I did I wouldn't have been in the situation that I ended up in but I'm better and I'm so happy to be back in Rishikesh. Let me give you a quick tour of the room before we step out and uh, give you a little intro to Rishikesh. So it's a very basic room. It's only 400 rupees, which is $6.50 Canadian. So it's a great price. It's got a big bed, a little bedside table, place to put all my clothes, place to put all my junk. Uh, and a private bathroom that is the typical Indian bathroom with the uh, toilet, sink, shower that goes right on the floor. And uh, I'm happy here. Window looking outside. You step out to this big patio and look at that view. It's really got that jungle feel to it. I'm so happy to be back in Rishikesh. I plan to come to it uh, on the tail end of my trip just because it's the perfect spot to come to after you've been in a lot of urban environments in India. This is a really amazing place to come and just relax. And uh, you don't hear honking all the time like everywhere else that I've been to in India. It's really nice. Yo, there was this little monkey in a diaper. I don't know why it was wearing a diaper, but there was a monkey in a diaper that climbed up on me the other day, and I've been looking for it ever since. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not gonna change your diaper. <laughs> Dude, dog. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, you gotta go, dog. <laughs> It was holding a screwdriver too that I think it stole from this little construction site. The reason why I love this spot so much, it's about a five minute walk uphill, but it's so worth it just to be tucked away and have that cool little jungle vibe going on, you know? Hey buddy. 
I'm gonna give you a little brief introduction right now to the general area. So basically the town revolves around two main bridges, the Laxmanjula and the Ramjula. Maybe only about a year ago, the Laxmanjula got shut down because it wasn't safe for people anymore. Now there's only the Ramjula and then this new bridge further down than the Ramjula uh, that I haven't been at yet. So I think what we're gonna do today, just as a little introduction, is take a walk from the old Laxmanjula all the way to the new bridge. And uh, that should give you a good general feel of the area. So here we go. This is, uh, like I said, about a five minute walk. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> it's a five minute. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Oof, I never saw cows get aggressive like that. So anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> that was about a five minute walk from my hotel down to this main road. <laughs> Super chill little town. Um, there's a bunch of little clothing shops, little restaurants, little guest houses along this main road. And you'll probably notice uh, throughout this video that there's more tourists here um, than you're used to seeing in my videos. Rishikesh is known as one of the, ca the yoga capitals of the world, if not the yoga capital of the world. Um, so there's a lot of Indian tourists and foreign tourists from every single country. <laughs> like if you're into yoga, and you're from the world, you come here and learn yoga, take yoga classes, uh, teach yoga, do yoga type things. Okay, you'll see tons of cool little shops like this with clothing and souvenirs. The dogs are definitely present. So right now we're going to go down to where Laxmanjula used to be. And it's a shame that it's closed and it really sucks because I love, I used to love walking across Laxmanjula to the other side of the city. The two bridges, Laxmanjula and Ramjula, are meant to go from this part of Rishikesh over the Ganga to the other part of Rishikesh. I'm not too familiar with the other part of Rishikesh on the other side, so I think on this trip I'll try to explore the other side. So yeah, it's like this really cute, sort of quiet road of shops and restaurants. So as you can see, that is Laxmanjula. And they shut Laxmanjula down. Mahadev. In my opinion, this was like the central part of Rishikesh. Because there was always so many people going back and forth, and monkeys too and bikes and scooters uh, and cows going back and forth between that bridge. But uh, now it's no more. So there's more shops along this way. And then eventually if you keep going, it ends up being, uh, you end up going to some cool beaches down there. There's a few waterfalls down there. And I'll be here for like two weeks, so don't worry, we'll get to see all that. Right now, I just wanted to do a little tour um, to show you generally the town's layout. So yeah, I just turned back around. 
um, we're gonna go back to where we started off and then keep going in the other direction towards Ramjula. Okay, here we are back to where those cows had a little uh, scuffle. Seems like everything's cool in the area. We're just gonna keep walking down the road and uh, walk towards Ramjula. Ooh, look at that. And now to get to the Ramjula area, you can either keep going down this way where all the cars are, but it's a way cooler, there's a way cooler shortcut. Well, it's not really a shortcut. It takes the same amount of time, but there's a way cooler way by going through here. So you go through that hole in that fence, and first of all, wow, look at this big, amazing tree, and you're on the Ganga. So in the distance over there, you can see the uh, now defunct uh, Laxmanjula. few little like shanty type houses here the cows just chilling as usual and tourists walking back from yoga class I'm assuming hello little baby cow oh. this is a way different vibe than I've been used to for the last few weeks traveling in India. That's pretty much why I planned it like this. I wanted to do my tail end of uh, this trip uh, in Rishikesh and in this area because I knew that after weeks of being in Delhi and Varanasi and uh, wherever else I was going to be down in that area, I knew it was going to be hectic and I knew I would want this. And I think <clears throat> me getting sick right before I got here and my first two days being here was my body being like, yo, slow down. And I'm so happy that I got to recuperate here and uh, get back to normal in such a beautiful place. Oh, I just realized that I have salad that I could, I might as well give to the cows. Oh, now I got to choose which cow gets salad. Maybe the babyest, frailest one. So with all the street dogs and cows, People, don't worry, I'm not there to take it from you. Um, people leave out leftover rice and vegetables and chapati and whatever they got uh, so the dogs can eat. Mm. Yeah. It's French fries. Yeah. What? You want some? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what, you don't like? Huh? I gave you food. That's food. You say for food, be grateful. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. Little oh, monkeys. Hello. 
Explosion! What'd you find? <laughs> Yeah, you want some salad? I got some salad I'm not going to eat. Here. Oh, a whole bunch of monkeys. Monkeys hanging out looking for food. So let's go halfway across it. I'm not going to go the whole way. I just want to give you guys a view of the Ganga from Ramjula. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. So you can see a bunch of stairs. That's like ghats, like how they have in uh, Varanasi. If you saw some of my older videos from Varanasi, that they perform artis at sunset. And look, actually, like the whole way over there, too. It's so beautiful up here. Like, look at that. Look at those hills, the beaches, the people just hanging out, boating and rafting. And... So, my plan is eventually to cross over there and explore that side. But for this video, we're just going to keep on uh, this side of things. No, I got nothing for you, dude. <laughs> I don't have anything for you. <laughs> Those monkeys, you gotta watch out. <laughs> and now we're on the Ram Jula side of things. <laughs> There's these two restaurants here. I just gotta step in here for to show you guys the weirdness of this. There's two restaurants. Chotiwala here with a guy who's just there all day and then this other Chotiwala with a guy who sits there all day I don't know why I never really looked into it but there's two Chotiwala restaurants next to each other and they both have a Chotiwala guy their own version of Ronald McDonald it's like yeah it's like having two McDonald's next to each other both having Ronald McDonald standing out front all day very awkward i gotta google that i gotta figure that one out so yeah look there's some fresh fruit some fresh cows eat the fruit not the cows and then on this side you got a whole bunch of other shops and food vendors <clears throat> Take a quick step down to the Ganga. So there's the Ramjula Bridge. Oh yeah, and there's this other new bridge that's way down there. Definitely gonna come back here in the next few weeks and uh, come hang out at nighttime. Go to some of the arties. Ain't no party like an arty party. Right, Cal? Sleeping cows, sleeping dogs. Man, there's a, there was a Krishna Das. I don't know if anybody watching this is familiar with Krishna Das, but I missed a Krishna Dance concert um, 
by like three days. If you are a Krishna Das fan, you could probably understand how bummed I am about not being able to see him live. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Very good place, sir. Yeah, very nice music. See, I have a feeling this is a, a lot of tourists here. All these people are tourists. Um, that's why there's, you know, all this food and vendors and a lot of people come up here to visit the, uh, the temples and ashrams. Oops, sorry. Oh, this is the one I think. This is a beautiful... I'm gonna go... Okay, this is... We're not going in here right now, but at one point we're gonna visit that ashram. Inside it's beautiful. There's this amazing Shiva statue um, and it's green and just a, an amazing place. So we're definitely going to go check it out. Oh, and speaking of big Shiva statues. Oh, so here's the big Shiva. You can see this big, beautiful Shiva statue back there on the Ganga, that's the one that washed away once, or a few times. Um, and then right there, there's a very big Hanuman. We're gonna go explore that further another time. There's also a really nice uh, ashram in there. So, there's so much to explore. I'm gonna be here for about two weeks. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. Stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of new Rishikesh adventures. I'm going to be here for two weeks. And if you like India travel videos, look back at my other videos if you haven't already. I'm a fun guy to travel with, so check them out. All right, thanks. Peace, people.